and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel lesson is from St. Luke, chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. Before reading today's Gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, the trampling down all carnal desires. We may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Luke. One Sabbath, when he went to dine at the house of a ruler who belonged to the Pharisees, they were watching him. And behold, there was a man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they were silent. Then he took him and healed him and let him go. And he said to them, Which of you, having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well, will not immediately pull him out on a Sabbath day? And they could not reply to this. Now he told a parable to those who were invited, when he marked how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a marriage feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest a more eminent man than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give place to this man, and then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For every one who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The Word of God. Again, our Lord is teaching us about humility. Let's not forget that the first beatitude as found in chapter 5 of St. Matthew's Gospel deals directly with humility. From St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now let's go to the Orthodox Catechism and get the Church's interpretation of that passage. It asks, what is it to be poor in spirit? And it answers, it is to have a spiritual conviction that we have nothing of our own, nothing but what God bestows upon us, and that we can do nothing without God's help and grace, thus counting ourselves as nothing and in all, throwing ourselves upon the mercy of God. In brief, as St. John Chrysostom explains it, spiritual poverty is humility. That is what our Catechism teaches. As our Lord says in today's Gospel, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Treasure your humility. And if you are not humble before God and man, then pray that you find humility. Have a good day and a humble day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.